Hi guys, James at Rampant Lion Reviews again for you today with another beer review. So for this one we're going to go up to a little town called Aviemore and of course this town is well known for being the Scottish ski resort when we do actually get snow. Normally it's just cold and wet here but when we get snow we actually can do something with it and that's why we have a ski resort. But for this guy we're going to go to the Cairngorm Brewery Company named after the National Park of course in which Aviemore is situated and we're going to have a taste of their Wildcat beer which is a sort of English style bitter, extra special bitter don't know how you're you kind of meant to describe this properly but it's a bitter beer nonetheless so as is usual with my beer reviews then I'll take you through a very kind of short history of the brewery it's only a minute or two but if you want to get straight to the tasting just fast forward the brewery websites in the description for you below along with a link to my other reviews that I've done from these guys before so anyway, um, to tell you a little bit about the Cairngorm Brewery Company, the Cairngorm Brewery Company was established in 2001 and it's located, as I told you, in the village of Aviemore in the Cairngorms National Park in the west of Scotland. But the brewery has won numerous awards and they probably are actually one of the most decorated Scottish craft breweries today. They say they like to keep traditional recipes alive, kind of similar to what Williams Brothers do actually, but they also like to experiment with new recipes and with different malts and hops and some other kind of random additions to their beers. If I remember rightly, their trade wins beer actually has elderflower added to it which gives it a kind of quite unusual taste so check out that one if you like that sort of thing but the brew house currently has a 20 barrel capacity which can produce up to 6,500 litres of ale per day and most of their beers both seasonal and year round are available in these kind of half litre bottles you can actually go for tours of the brewery as well and these start at 2.30 every day Monday to Friday and the brewery shop is open Monday to Saturday every week and also on Sundays between April and October as well but with the brewery being located in a national park and this is the kind of interesting quirk about this brewery they're quite keen on supporting the local conservation charities like um red squirrels and wildcats and of course this is where this brewery takes its name but they also have some local disabilities they also support some like local disabilities charities and things like that so they always have a portion of their sales donated to these local organizations that are kind of helping to preserve the national park or sort of helping to help the local community so very very cool brewery in terms of the philanthropy side of things and their beers are quite good as well so what I would say about this brewery that's quite interesting I've always found that these guys are sort of a more kind of traditional English style brewery if you like. They don't brew the kind of American ales that are very very popular these days. They more sort of brew the kind of uh, real ale sort of English style beers and I've found that all their beers have a very kind of characteristic and light sort of drinking feel to them but they do have quite a good bit of flavour so they are very interesting in that regard so if you do like the sort of English real ale kind of thing this is a brewery you want to check out. Just to list a few of their beers for you in their regular range they've got the Cayley which is a golden ale, Ginger, Rodin, Ro Ginger Rodent sorry, which they describe as a continental ginger brew or golden brew rather they've got trade winds which is a gold nail with wheat and elderflower wild cat this guy here which is a bitter black gold which is a stout stag which is a dark bitter cairngorm gold which is a lager beer nessie's monster mash which they describe as being a malty amber ale blessed thistle which is a red ale filtered through thistles i want to get that one and try it at some point they also have one called sheep shaggers gold which is a continental golden ale and they also have autumn nuts which they describe as a red ale they've got a few seasonals as well so that's that's their Winter Flurry, Santa Sledgehammer which is a Christmas ale, Howler which is a strong ale, Mountain Blue a gold ale, Witch's Cauldron which is a red ale and also the Highland IPA as well. So they've got quite a good range of beers so go and check out their website and have a look at these for yourself if you are interested. Um, but to get on to the tasting of this guy itself I'll just tell you a little bit about this beer. It says on the side Wildcat, it says a smooth deep amber coloured ale with a complex malt, fruit and hop flavour, strong and distinctive like the powerful sleek Scottish Wildcat is named after. That's one of the things I never actually thought to say about this. We do actually get some of these kind of wild cats in, uh, in Scotland. They're not aggressive at all. They're actually quite elusive from what I remember. But um, they're, ac they're actually quite cool if you do see them. I've seen one kind of running around on the hills before and they are. it is actually quite cool to think that we do have wild cats in Scotland because it's not something you think about too much. So as you can see there's the sort of Cairngorms brewery symbol. Maybe you can see it better if I show you on the side of the bottle there. I'll just check you're seeing that on the camera there. You can see the kind of nice golden mountain there. And I actually really like this this brewery symbol as you can see. There's the bottle cap again and that's the sort of wild cat on the front of the, the National Park 
there just kind of standing on a log and as you can see it actually has this little symbol here which is a 10 year celebration of the National Park and I believe this was why they released their Cayley beer as well was to celebrate 10 years of the Cairngorms being a national park. You can see our national flag on the side there, the Scottish flag which is always quite cool and it says brewed in the highlands of Scotland and um, yeah no it looks pretty nice so we'll get this guy out and get on with the tasting it's 5.1 percent bitter beer and it tells you all the details on the side of the bottle as well so we'll get this guy out and get on with it so as you can see not really a smoky opening but I'm getting some kind of bubbly discharge on this just without paying too much attention to the aroma it does come across as quite a roasty beer sort of roasted malt flavours as you're pouring it which is quite cool but you can see it does pour quite nicely so we'll just get that positioned again it's actually come out quite a reddish amber I'll just bring up the camera and make sure you can see this it's come out a kind of nice sort of chestnutty and um, slightly mahogany colour actually I would describe that a kind of maybe even a copperish amber is the way you could describe that colour if I put my fingers behind it you can't really see it but I can actually see through this beer I'll try and put the light just down and let you see it but the beer actually is transparent you can see the kind of shadow of my fingers going behind that you can't see it very well just because of the light but it is transparent you've got about a two finger of a kind of um, sort of creamy coloured head maybe slightly beige actually I'd describe it but it smells really nice you can smell a lot of caramel and fruit coming off this guy so it's quite it looks very nice there's a lot of little very small bubbles of carbonation going up towards the top of the head here but the beer smells very very nice this it actually it strikes me with this one that this actually has a good bit more aroma to it than the other ones I've had from this brewery before normally these ones are quite white uh, quite mild on the nose rather but in terms of the aroma a big nice kind of toasted malt in there big sort of caramel presence I would say if you sugar it up a little bit I think you're getting a little bit of kind of nutty character out of it and there's definitely bread in there too but there's yeah there is you can pick up just a little bit of a kind of stone fruity presence you know maybe a little kind of figgy sort of thing or something like that maybe a little bit of candied fruit actually there is a definite fruit presence in the aroma too when you sugar it up and that's the kind of esters that come off this beer but there is a definite fruity presence with this beer but it's quite hard to pick it out because the caramel malts, the, the kind of caramel malt base, the roasty character, the nuts and the bread, but the, it's really the caramel component is the most kind of punchy thing in the aroma of this beer. And as I say, it does have a bit more of a fuller, it does have quite a bit more of a fuller aroma than the other ones have kind of, from what I remember of this brewery. It's been a year or so since I've tried them though, so maybe I'm talking rubbish in that regard, but quite a strong caramel aroma on this guy regardless. So let's get stuck into the Wildcat from Cairngorm Brewery Company in Aviemore. Cheers. Now that's actually a really nice beer, I have to say that. One thing I should I should say, the bitter style of beer is not one that I actually I don't really enjoy this particular style of beer. I have to admit it's but I do appreciate it when I have a, when I've had a good one and I've had one or two good ones of this style and I would say just on the first set that, that this is a good beer. So you've got a nice kind of sweet caramel malt base that just sort of blankets. It sort of just goes in and gives you that little bit of sweetness on two kind of lines down the middle of your tongue. But underneath that you've got a sort of bready malt base that has the kind of typical cereally element that you expect from a bitter beer. You're getting, there is a little bit of a kind of woody feel to this one. So you've got a nice, you've got a really interesting malt base mix of flavours in this one. As I say, you've got these kind of two lines of sweet caramel right kind of down uh, just to either side of the middle of your tongue, if that makes sense. But you've got a nice kind of bready malt base in there. Almost, it could well be a sort of rye bread flavour you're getting from this guy. But there's definitely that sort of cereal, um, almost slightly earthy character coming out of this guy that you expect of the sort of bitter style of beers. And as, as you kind of move into the aftertaste, you get this this wet mouth feel where you've got a nice sweet caramel feel in this beer. But there is there is definitely an element of sort of woodiness, nuttiness, maybe just even a, a little bit of kind of vanilla, if you like, in the flavour of this guy, which is quite interesting. 
definitely a woody and nutty presence in the flavour of this beer. Around the edges of the tongue, I think there is there is maybe just a little bit of grassiness. I'm not getting much in the way of fruitiness out of the flavour with this one though. Maybe just a very kind of mild sort of stone fruit thing, maybe just a little bit of figs. It kind of there is a sort of sweetness to it uh, that kind of lingers there in the aftertaste and you do get a little bit it is the kind of caramel. Maybe there's just a little bit of a kind of stone fruit or sort of figgy flavour in there if that makes sense with the with the caramel. So it's got an interesting little element like that in the aftertaste. Yeah. I would say that the fruit flavour that's coming out on this guy is definitely figgy and it sits in the middle of the tongue and kind of mixes with that caramel so it's got a very interesting blend of flavour this around the edges of the tongue which is where you normally expect to kind of find the, the hop character in the beer it is a kind of uh, light sort of grassy hop that you're getting off this guy but I think there's an element of earthiness to this beer as well which is the kind of typical thing that you expect of the kind of bitter styles of beer and as I said I don't normally like this style of beer but this guy is one normally with this with these kind of bitter beers I'll taste it once for the review and then would never go back to it again probably but you know I would I would go back and have one of these beers maybe this is the kind of start of me actually getting into bitter beers who knows so credit to the Cairngorm Brewery for kind of changing my opinion of a style if you like but in terms of the mouthfeel one thing I should actually say that I've just picked up on it, there is a little bit of a kind of darker, maybe slightly coffee element to this beer that comes out just around the edges of the tongue there. Just There's a sort of the roasted character as you take a few more sips into it. It does become a little bit more kind of coffee-ish, but it's very, very mild. It's not anywhere near what you would expect from a porter, but the roasted element in this really does just have a teeny, teeny little bit of coffee in it. So just pay attention to that. But in terms of the mouthfeel of this guy, Definitely mid-bodied, it's very smooth, and this is one thing I always remember about this brewery. They always have a nice, kind of, um, light mouthfeel. This guy is a bit heavier than some of the other beers they've had, so this guy is more of a light-bodied, uh, a kind of mid-bodied one, actually. The carbonation is very, very smooth, I would say that. Nice, soft, kind of smooth carbonation. It does have a little bit of an oily mouthfeel, and that helps bring out the kind of caramel and fruity elements of the flavour. It's slightly dry on the finish, and that's how you're getting a little bit of the cereal and the, the kind of earthy character lingering there. That's one of your typical characteristics of the uh, of the style though, but you've got a nice malt sweetness that just lingers with this. So it's a very interesting beer, and I'm, I'm actually quite surprised at how um, I've taken to this particular beer, because as I say, I don't normally like bitters, but you know, credit to the Cairngorm Brewery Company, and this is, I would maybe even go as far as saying this is the best beer from these guys that I've tasted which is as I say is quite interesting because normally I don't like the bitter style but their black gold stout was a really nice beer as well from what I remember but I maybe need to go and have a revisit of these guys maybe I'll go to Abbey Moore and try a few different ones on one of these kind of taster plates or something but anyway um, I hope you've enjoyed this beer review it's been cool to review one and it's been cool as I say to kind of change my opinion of a style a little bit maybe I'll need to visit a few more different bitters now but this is a very nice bitter if you are into this style or perhaps one thing I would recommend too if you're not so keen on this style then maybe this is one that can perhaps get you into the style as it has done with me but um, please let me know in the comment section below your own thoughts on this beer always interesting to hear those I hope you've enjoyed this one from the Cairngorm Brewery and uh, I will be adding a few more of these in the near future but please like subscribe share all the usual YouTube stuff and I will catch you soon with my next beer review cheers